Okay, so we've managed to get both ships to take off. I'm sure this is not going to end really badly, right? God, that one looks so old in comparison. Just, it doesn't look as alive as Mog Chothra. I guess that's what they were going for, though. The more it looks like a real monster, the more the peasants will fear it. That thing, though, is fucking dark. Something tells me we've arrived. Wow. So, what do we do now? Honk or something? Time to see if the ship's communication system still works. Hello. Uh, ahoy. This, this is the star airship Malaruna requesting re-entry. Um, I've been gone a long time, but if you could just open the door, we'll come in and explain it. Alex, I don't think that's going to... Oh. Oh, never mind. Look at that. That was quite convenient, wasn't it? Oh, wait a second. What's that? Dad, is that? That's our ship. You think Mom's on board? Brace yourself. Oh, God. What? Oh, no. Hit the... Hey, we're on autopilot. But look, since we're so close, I'll extend our gangway and you can use it to go say hi. Oh, yeah. Great job, mate. Great fucking job. What? You're afraid of a little jump? What is that? Oh no, what's that? They're firing at her! Quick, back up! Let them get out of range! I told you, autopilot. Are you kidding me? Can't you, like, reverse it? Quiet, I need to think. I'm not sure we have time for you and your thinking process, mate. Look, we're all getting hit now. This is really bad. I'm guessing they're also on auto- Oh shit, we're both on autopilot. Why are they shooting? You said this was your home. People, this is just some sort of misunderstanding. I've been gone 300 years. Give them a break, okay? As soon as I figure out the hailing frequency, I'll tell them who I am and we'll all be laughing about this. I hope you're right, Alex. They'll sterilize the shit out of you because you've been contaminated. You're sitting here with peasants, mate. What the fuck am I doing? Hello? Hello? Can I go through this door my dad used? No. Damn it. What can I do? Looks like someone soldered these parts in place. Ugh, their casings must have melted together in the heat. Oh, damn it! Now I couldn't take them apart if I wanted to. What do I do then? Trust me, if a girl ever asks you to make her a death ray, say no. Why? That's good shit you could do with death rays. Oh, these two are so cute! Hey, I didn't know our little electrical genius could dance. Yeah, I just moved some wires around her on her back and she started dancing. I'm sorry? Huh. You did what? With my little pixel well, guy? It's a robot charging station. At least just to go over it one more time, you guys are totally clear that I wasn't kidnapping maidens on purpose, right? Yes, yes, we know, Shay. It's a lot. Okay, cool. Right, that's not helped me at all. I don't know what I can do here. Maybe I need to just go to uh, Vela's instead. See what we can do there. Into the other one we go. Hey, I think that ship... I think it belongs to my friend Alex. I can't believe he got that thing running. Well, it's kind of in the way, so what what are we doing about this? Well, go around it then. We're under fire. I would love to, Captain Walter, but you know once the path is rough, the ship follows only the thread. It's out of my control. We are going to get blown to bits. Surely the ship's shields will protect us. No, mate. Well, that's hard to say. Ships shields, ships shields. There are no ship shields. We threw the fusion orb out the trash chute. Excuse me. What protocol calls for the disposal of our? There is no protocol for this situation. This is new territory here. Okay. My advice is to just sit back and enjoy the. Journey. We can't, you idiots. I'm only asking you to steer a few hundred yards left or right just for a bit. Even if you are in my power, Captain. That kind of navigational sloppiness is a slippery slope. <laughs> I'm about to come down there and unplug you! You can unravel me like a sweater, but it will change the course we're on. The nav scarf has been deployed. Can we not unpick the nav scarf? Control of the ship. Not when I'm following the commands of a star job. Oh, damn it, Space Weaver. I don't make the rules. Well, who does? The rules were here before either of us. It's not our job to question. Damn it, Space Weaver! That's fine. That's fine. I'll do something. What can I do? What can I do? Can I go and turn him off? Space Weaver! Mogs. 
just when you think you've taken care of them all, another one shows up. Guess I'd better eliminate these two. They can't breed. They're spaceship. Well, they're ships. Can I use this? Let's hope that big open window makes for better reception. Because I've had it the whole time, so surely it would make sense to use it. Oh my god, it worked. Darn. Didn't hit anything. What did that? Oh god, it broke that. Oh what shit. The? How did that. Bella. Her hot headedness is going to get us all killed. It's already too hot to touch. I'm going to have to kill the circuit in the power room. What? Stay here. There are some uh, legacy features of the ship down below that can be unpredictable. Okay. Well, that's not going to happen because I am just going to follow you. How'd this thing get set again? Ah. Oh, come on. We were this close to a real meltdown. Quit being such a fraidy cat, Alex. Well, it's, my only concern is we're having this meltdown above a giant fucking ravine. <laughs> so, yeah. Right, Space Weaver. Hey, you're steering the ship, right? Can you get us out of here? I am looking at the ego of the path. The ship controls itself. You won't budge a little to the left or right? We'll die if you don't. Well, now I'm just full of anxiety. How does that help? Damn it, Space Weaver! <laughs> I love the Space Weaver. It's like the Yarn Pals. They're just so ridiculous. They're fantastic. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Let's think. Think, 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 think. So if we can't do that, what can we do? Can we do anything with that here? Or Oh, oh no. shit! Little girl, what have I put you through? It looks like all your little wires got knocked out. Oh my god, we've killed her. Poor thing. Stick with me. I'll make it right. Oh, poor little hexagal. I can't believe that. Look at that. That's such a mess. I'm not sure what we can do with her. I guess we can't do anything. We need some wire. I wonder where's got some wire. Let's go back to Shay, I think, and see what's downstairs. Actually, that's probably the best thing to do. Oh, this is sufficiently creepy. Oh, hey, son. Oh, hey. Dad, what are you doing here? Uh, just patching up a few more holes. Seems like every time I fix one... Oh, yeah, that's kind of a problem. Because we're under fire, so, you know, that's gonna keep happening. Oh, look! It looks like part of the old ship controls. There's a decayed old logbook here. Okay, we've come to the conclusion the ship itself is lying to us tomorrow. We'll try to land on one of the hostile planets. Oh, I see. So this is what happened when it landed. So that's... If I gotta reprogram the dude to play the harp. Right. Okay, so what is in... Oh yeah, shit, there's some... The, the, the robes, that's what they cut the robes out of. Oh dear, that's a shame. Um, left or right? Let's go right. Whoa, it's a music morgue. Oh, is that the space harp? This harp's still kind of intact. Maybe with the right musician, it could still sound great. Still sounds drummy. Well, that's, that's good. That's a good start. Doesn't mean, it means the skid isn't torn. Um, well, it says the right musician. Is that a radio? Hey, looks like a radio. Oh, cool. Maybe we can use that for something. Hmm, like a broken radio. Oh, or not. Um, so, clearly I need to reprogram... What's-his-face? I need to reprogram my little dude with um, some stuff. And what the fuck are those? Dad, did you see something? What? Another breach? No, not exactly. Oh, good. Because I have enough to worry about up here. Yeah, maybe don't come down here, yeah? Because there's some weird shit in the walls. <laughs> You're probably okay up there. But I don't know what Whoa. the f Oh. Hello. Are you guys from the old ship? Have you been down here 300 years? Oh dear. All alone? Socialization. Oh. Zero. So, would you mind if I just scooted by into the- Hey, 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 okay, all right. You don't want me in there. Okay, that's cool. I got other stuff to do. Oh, I'll be back. Bye. I guess that's what he meant by legacy stuff was a little bit wonky. Just crazy tribal robots with spears and little hats 
are gonna fuck you up. Um, I kind of wish they'd be in it, in it more, because this must be the end. Hey, little hexapal. You still have some electrical geniusness deep in there somewhere? Sorry. She's all about the rhythm now. Hey! Well, look at that. His tinkering must be wired in on a deeper level. And he's already done. Great job. Still, better come with me. Aww. Sorry, just... I need him more than you. We need him to play the harp and get us out of here. Let's go and see if I can just put him next to the harp. No, no, you just want to dance, don't you? I mean, that is very cute, but that's not quite what I was wanting. So maybe we're gonna have to go, oh, we have to reprogram him, don't we? Oh, fuck, okay. Uh, ha, 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 oh, fuck. I'll be back in a bit when I've worked out what the hell I'm doing. Okay, so, um, the idea of this is um, that what you have to do is you have to use the charging station to work out the symbols and where they correspond to... The, so basically what I should have done for the previous puzzles, the ones where I accidentally just winged it. Um, but what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to get the little guy and work out the coding on the station and how it wires up to each different node, like wh which order, which direction, and all this sort of stuff. So this obviously doesn't work for me. Now the big thing to know for this guy is that each situation is unique to your save. So there is no solution out there on the internet that will work like 100% for everyone. So you just have to literally just sit there and puzzle it out. Okay, so this is the one that worked for me. It might work for you, probably won't. Um, but it was like, great, this is a fucking triangle. Thanks for this. I've been trying to do all these complex patterns and all you wanted was a goddamn triangle. But you have to get them the right order way round as well with the circuit. If they're not going the right order, then they won't work, even if you've got the right shape. So it's a bit of a bastard puzzle. The so there we go. I've got the heart playing pattern. So I'm now going to go downstairs. How about this, guys? Do you want this? Look, he's a friend. Oh, that's new. Oh. Wow. They really like you. Maybe a little too much. I'd better not leave you here with them. Oh, It's a bit mean. Like, to be fair, we don't want them kidnapping him. He's quite handy. We need him to play the harp. Um, oh, oh, God. Let's go. Let's flipping go. Right, play some harp. Oh, hey. Oh, they're following. Oh, I can get to the power thing. Yeah, tickle those strings. He's actually pretty good. I think I'll let him play for a while. That's great. We'll just just leave him to it. Flip and leave him to it. Right. The switch. What? Oh, what? Hey, this switch is just an old drum mallet. I hope the engine's not just an old tube. What? So actually, what I didn't realise, so I had to go again and look it up, is that Round the corner, there's a switch. There. Now the power's back and on. That's the power I switch. I told you it was going to be a mix of me talking at the time I was recording and then afterwards, just to try and like clean this footage up because puzzle games are so hard to edit. What I now need to do, and again, this is one I had to look up because it made no there's sense. Nothing. And that's probably the main complaint that people are having with the finale of this game now. is that quite a lot of it makes no sense. It's not a sort of like, oh, I've got this and I've got this. This works. It's, it's a lot of figuring stuff out, but a lot of illogical figuring stuff out. You have to make an awful lot of leaps. So what you're actually supposed to do, which is sort of clear but not, is you want to give the hexapad the hammer and get them to hammer the drum. But in order to hammer the drum, you want them to do the swinging motion, which you've stolen from the back of Vela's. When she picks up that hexi pad, you can see the back of it, and you're supposed to look at the burnt wire patterns and work out from there. But it's like, that is a massive leap to ask of certain people. Um, especially because this is like, pretty much an all ages game. It's like, whoa, hello. That's a bit sudden. Right, let's go and get the hexi pad thing ringing the bell, ringing the drum. Banging the drum, that's the word. <laughs> ringing the drum, what the fuck? Now 
while we're talking. Good job. Oh, they're really happy. Hey, what's going on down here? Put those things down and be quiet, please. What are you gonna do? I'm trying to talk to Laruna upstairs and I can't even hear myself. Now put that down. Hey! Hey, what are you doing? Don't fight him. Cheeky shit. Well now he's now he's now he's occupied. Now he's occupied. Let's go. So um switching back to Vela. What you then have to do, and again, not very clear. Is you want to um what the shit is it? Come on. There's some wire somewhere that I'm looking for. Um, and uh, you obviously want to reprogram. I say obviously. <laughs> obviously. You want to find some wire to reprogram your hexipad. Oh. Hello. This scrap wire might come in handy if I wanted to repair something. Marakai, where are you? What caused that explosion? Nothing. Uh, sorry, wrong number. How do I turn this off? I don't know. I don't know. What's happened to Marakai? Uh, well, I mean, could you be more specific? I mean, what part of him are you looking for? Can you be more specific? Which part of him are you looking for? You, violent abomination. I'm starting to see why Marakai was so taken with you. Why was Marakai taken with me? Oh, that's that's a creepy face. Um, I thought I thought it was Shay that was taken with me, not Marakai. It's plot consistencies here. Please excuse me. I need to go end your entire way of doing things. You'll never. Goodbye. Just cut him short. Asshole. Right. Um. What was I doing? Oh, wire, 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 and and thingy. Oh, uh, shit. What pattern am I going for? What are we using her for? I'll wire this end here. Are we using her to tickle the space weaver? Using the harp thing. I think that's what I'm supposed to do. Which, again, I'm going to do a massive jump cut here because, good God, now working it out is just going to be a mess. Right, so, should we just get you... Tickle? Tickle? Do you want a tickle? I'm not looking for an intern right now. But she's very good. She's a very good intern. I'd hire her. Let's try this. Tickle the space weave. <laughs> hey! That is an extremely sensitive... Space weaver, report. I'm experiencing severe... <laughs> what? What is it? Are you damaged? Stop, <laughs> Stop it, please! <laughs> no, hang on! I'm coming right down! My arms! <laughs> Good job, little girl. You keep them both occupied for a while, okay? To be fair, the Hexipals, or whatever we're calling them, have been like the heroes of this whole fucking game. Um, that Space Weaver and the Yarn Pals so, just made it. Watch my controls for a bit, would you? Our navigation bot seems to be malfunctioning. I shouldn't be gone too long. He's definitely malfunctioning. It's definitely that. So actually, what you need to do from here, once you've checked that you're on manual flight, and again, this is sort of a having to go back and check afterwards because I had no idea what I was doing, is that you want to get Vela in the sort of main control area here so she can press the button. But what you actually want to do, as soon as you've done that, is you want to go to Shay. You want to go up to the top. Alex and Mom are both distracted. And you want to call Gary. Good old Gary. We've not seen him for ages. Gary? Come in, Gary. It's grabbing time again. Gary? What have you done? Good work, Gary. It's an honor to be grabbed by such a professional. Is that what's supposed to happen? Right, so we've done the grabbing. So now we have to do the other bit, which is blowing up the ship, because good idea. I told you, these puzzles are weird. They're so weird. The logic behind them is really odd. Um, should we do something about that? Oh, I don't think we should touch the young man's things, do you? Well, I 
would probably evacuate that area, but that's personally my experience of exploding consoles across many years of Star Trek. The meltdown has started. Everybody out! The what? The meltdown? Oh! Oh god. This is actually a little bit serious. I'm just going like, oh. The other ship is melting down and it's taking us with it! Shit. <laughs> oh, we saved the maidens. Brilliant. Oh no. Shay? Over here. You have to jump. Come on, Shay. Come on. I'll catch you. Bollocks, you will. That's a giant jump, and you've got tiny arms. Mom, Dad. Also, you're waving. Watch out. Oh, God. I thought you were dead. Hey. What the fuck? Merrick. Oh, dear. I'm starting to get flashbacks to Star Wars 2. I think it's 2. It might be 3. Whichever it is. I'm getting bad flashbacks involving lava. Come on, smack him! Good job. I thought you were a... <coughs> Baker! Yeah, I can do that too. And my god, because like girls can do more than one thing, am I right? Good job. Good job, Vela. Good self-defense. Now, what the Shay. fuck are we doing about this? Mom! Jump, son! Yes, that's gonna make all the difference. If you don't catch him either... Oh god, he's jumping. Yeah, you failed. let go. Why didn't he let go? Damn it, Gary. You were the best friend apart from the hexapals a guy could have. Oh, are they going to finally meet? Is this going to be really awkward? Is it like a date? Because there's this whole, like, Shay's fascinated by her thing, but it's not... It's like, why? What? Oh. oh, well, there we go. So there we go, that's the end of Broken Age Part 2. I enjoyed some elements, especially the start bits, more than the previous one, just because it was like we swapped worlds, what's happened. And I quite like that, and I quite liked some of the starting puzzles, but that end stuff was a bit bollocks. Um, most of the reviewers sort of agree about that as well, that it was a bit silly, but... Yeah. Oh look! Spoon and Fork had a baby and it's a spork! <laughs> that was an un unnecessary reaction. Holy shit. It'd be interesting to see what they do next, I suppose. I don't know whether they'll do a sequel or not. I think it probably took far too long creating act two so they may just go let's give it give it a rest but uh, thank you very much for watching next up is wolfenstein which is a completely different tone but is a hell of a lot of fun so i'll see you guys next time thank you very much for watching goodbye